What's up, Canes fans? This is the Canes Insight Podcast. It's the weekend, but we're still rolling because Miami got a huge, huge commit from Armwood running back Gerard Pringle, adding some big-time speed to the room, trying to turn those 20-yard gains from last year into 80-yard gains. We will break down the commit, uh, give you some behind-the-scenes information, possible next steps as Miami moves on, and a whole lot more. First, before we talk about the big commit, I want to talk about a law firm that is committed to you, Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. 1-800-747-FREE, 1-800-747-3733. If you or someone you care about has been in an accident, you could be entitled to significant compensation. Don't deal with rookies. Deal with the absolute best. Take back control of your life with Anajar and Levine. Miami Hurricanes landed an absolutely huge commitment at the running back position. Composite four-star blue chip back Gerard Pringle out of Armwood, that is Sefner, the Tampa area, 5'10", 182. But the story with him, 10, 5, 6, speed in the 100 meters. For those that don't follow track, that translates to about a 4'3 in the combine. All right, this is big, big time speed, and he's still getting faster. This is after you've added Chris Johnson in a prior class from Dillard who won the state championship in the 100 meters and the 200 meters. So now you have multiple 4-3 type backs in the backfield. Huge emphasis for Miami. We talked about it maybe six weeks ago. I, I spoke to sources at the program, and the message to me was Miami wants elite speed. And at that time, they told me the name to keep an eye on, Gerard Pringle, who had not, I don't think he'd been offered yet. Matt Merritt had just been hired, and that was going to be the name that Miami was going to really focus on. We reported it on the bank on the Canes Insight Forums, which, by the way, if you're not subscribed to the Canes Insight Forums for free, you're missing out. 6.8 million posts and counting the most active Canes community on the planet, and the news is always first on there. And again, this is another example. When we first reported the Gerard Pringle interest, he was then offered by Matt Merritt. The recruitment picked up very fast, and now he is committed to the Miami Hurricanes on Saturday night. So you talk about Pringle, you're talking about an absolute speedster. We'll break down his game. By the way, if you're noticing my shirt, I know Canes Baseball is having a tough time. Caneswear.com. If you want to get this kind of Canes gear, the Gerard Pringle jersey will probably be there next year after he breaks a long touchdown. But uh, right now you go to Caneswear.com. Anything Canes related, heat related, Marlins related, you name it, right there. And you can go to the store, brick and mortar in Davie if you're in the area. Okay, back to Gerard Pringle. This is somebody, again, We've talked about the emphasis on elite speed, but it's not just elite speed with Gerard Pringle. Just go through some stats. 1,600 yards, over 1,600 yards, 24 touchdowns last year. This is a very good arm with team that was 10-2, and two, went to the state semis. Against Venice, which is one of the best programs in the state, state runner-up at a high level of football, opening game of the season, Pringle went 36 carries, 306 yards, four touchdowns against Venice. So that's what he's doing against elite competition. I spoke to Miami and got the scouting report on Pringle and what I got back elite speed, which we talked about. He can catch. He has some make you miss ability, not just a straight line runner. He has make you uh, miss ability. He can make the first guy miss, even though he's very much an upfield perfect fit for his own scheme type of runner where he gets upfield very fast. North and South uses that speed. He can make the first guy miss. He's not stiff in that respect. Not just elite long speed, but we talked about the 100 meter, but also elite burst and quicks. Football is a short area game. It's great to have long speed, but if you don't have short area game, you're not going to get to that long speed. You're not going to get to that second level to go to the house. But Pringle does have that, and you can see in these highlights, that burst, those quicks uh, that make you miss. Tough and durable. You see him breaking tackles in those highlights despite that 182-pound frame. He is going against big-time teams in those highlights. It's not you know, school of the blind. He's going against big big time teams and making plays against those squads. Um, and again, the durability and toughness, 1,683 yards, 24 touchdowns. He's carrying the load. He's not just making a play here, a play there. Miami wants electric athletes in 2025. That was the message that I received when I spoke to sources um, at Miami it was that Miami wants electric athletes. This guy was at the top of that list. And you're seeing on the clips. When you look at Miami last year, Miami was 20th in the nation in yards per carry running the ball, which is very good. To me, that was a tribute to the offensive line, more so to the explosiveness of the running backs. You had good backs, but 
the explosiveness of the backs was not elevating that yards per carry. A lot of times when you have a higher yards per carry, that's because your running backs can bust a 67 yard run and juice up that number. You didn't see that with Miami. Think back and if go, go to the comments and correct me if I'm wrong. What long run did Miami have last year from its running backs? We had one long run from Rashard Smith lined up at tailback, who's really a receiver, no longer with the program. Other than that, do we have any long runs from the running backs? Parrish, Cheney, A.J. Allen, Fletcher. You really didn't see those explosive house calls. Even when you had Cam Harris, you had more of those than you had with this team. And this team had a great offensive line. So if you're Crystal, you say, all right, how do I generate these big plays? I'm not going to get the offensive line that much better. It's already very, very good. It's going to come with speed at the running back position. Because if you have this big offensive line, this very big, very talented offensive line that took a lot of resources and investment to get to that level, they're going to get these running backs to the second level. It is going to be a whole, obviously, you know, it's never perfectly clean, but you're going to be able to get those guys through traffic better than some worse teams. You know, on a team where you really have poor blocking, you need a, a running back to get you those first five yards because it's going to be a lot of traffic and he's got to wiggle his way through. This offensive line for the Miami Hurricanes is going to get you those first five yards a lot of times because of their ability to move guys out of gaps, because of how well coached they are, just the talent. So now if you're going to get those first five yards, what becomes more important? The next 50 yards. And that's where a Chris Johnson, who again was signed in the class of 23, and a Jared Pringle, who's signed in this class or committed in this class, really comes in handy. Also have Chris Wheatley Humphrey, who's making some really nice plays on campus right now. Another smaller, more dynamic back in the class of 24. He's already on campus making big plays. Had a really nice practice on Saturday. But Pringle can get, once he gets to that second level, he can accelerate and now run anybody with that 10-5 speed. So I think that's what you're seeing is the ability to add dynamic players to what's already a good offensive line and then become a more explosive team, not just through the passing game, which you want to see more explosive passes, but through the running game. Morris Oregon teams had big plays through the running game. Miami can get back to that with more athletes like Gerard Pringle. And if you listen to the last episode of the bank, this is the video bank that we did last week. I said that Miami was gearing towards a run of potential commitments in late March, early April. So Pete, go ahead and pay, play the clip of the bank last week. So Miami is going to be in my, what I'm hearing, looking for some commitments in the near future. So stay tuned to canesinsight.com and I'll give you some names to keep an eye on just as far as names where Miami has a lot of momentum. Number one, uh, Chris Ewald, corner out of Chaminade, Gerard Pringle, who we've talked about in the past, uh, running back out of Armwood at canesinsight.com was the first to report that interest. This is a speedster. He's visiting again this weekend. Guy Miami really likes can bring some explosiveness to the room. So first domino to fall, Gerard Pringle. Who's next? Again, go back and listen to last week's episode of The Bank. I went through a whole list of potential commits coming up. And, you know, some names. I mentioned Chris Ewald, uh, you know, Floyd Bucard's a guy with a lot of interest, Tylon Lee, guys like that who Miami has a lot of momentum with. Uh, uh, the offensive lineman from uh, Community School of Naples. So there's a lot of names that I gave in that episode of The Bank. But – this is time. This is the first domino. Miami's really recruiting well. Further ahead, in my opinion, now this year than they were last year at this time. They finished with a top five class. So I think you're going to see a nice surge of really, really talented players. Pringle being the first domino. Stay tuned for this podcast daily. We're going to be giving to the info fresh. Canesinsight.com forums. Again, that is the most up-to-date info. It's quicker than Twitter, quicker than Instagram. If something, if a recruit sneezes towards Miami, that's going to be on Canesinsight.com on the forum, 6.8 million votes, uh, post and counting sign up. Plus when we get a great commit like Gerard Pringle, the celebration gifs alone are worth the sign up. Um, running back position. I'm not sure a second running back right now is imminent, meaning like that that's going to be the next commit or anything like that after Pringle. But I do think Miami will take a second back, maybe a bigger back to pair with Pringle. It's going to be interesting to see Alvin Henderson. Is he going to be big enough to be that second back? Or are they going to go for a bigger back than Henderson? Now that Pringle's locked up. That's something to watch. Henderson has strong Miami interest, but also a guy like Jasper Parker uh, from Louisiana has the size Miami wants. Shakai Mills Knight, originally from Canada up in Tennessee, another name. It's going to be interesting to see how that second running back position develops. Byron Lewis, another guy with Miami interest. 
So out of American heritage. So watch the second running back position. I don't think that's imminent, but I do think Miami will add a second back. And I also believe Miami will add an impact back or look to add an impact back in the portal. Dealing with injuries right now, a lot of uncertainty. Henry Parrish, of course, transferred last week. Miami's leading rusher last year. I think Miami will look to add an impact back in the portal, another high school back. But the fact that you added Gerard Pringle, you've now checked one box, which is the dynamic speed at the running back position. You cannot find a faster back in the state of Florida, or really in the South, than Gerard Pringle. I mean, this is as dynamic as it gets. Had an official visit to Bama lined up. He's not going to take that. So we're talking about a big-time player coming to the University of Miami. The Canes fans should be very happy. Stay locked into the Canes Insight podcast. We're coming daily. So today's Sunday. We're coming tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We'll have a ton of not only a ton of practice coverage, recruiting coverage, also got exclusive player interviews courtesy of Kane's Connection. So we're going to have Isaiah Horton on the show, uh, Raul Aguirre. We're going to have Wesley Besaint on the show, Elijah Royal, all Kane's Connection athletes, exclusive interviews here on the Kane's Insight podcast, which they were awesome kids. If you want awesome kids like that to continue to have opportunities at the University of Miami, don't forget to sign up for Kane's Connection. Promo code CIS, get 20% off your first month and private chats with me where I can feed non-public information uh, to the fans, the best, most exclusive info I can give in any kind of setting. That's going to be great. And uh, we'll go to a great cause, which is supporting student athletes, trying to get Miami back to national championship number six. 